surpassed 2014 as the warmest year since records began. This is based on contributions from more than 450 scientists from 62 countries. But our environment correspondent George Lee is with us now. This George is only go only going in one direction, and we've a couple of very stark graphics doing that. Well, it is going in one direction. I think what people who have been following it uh, have been, the, the science of, of climate change have been saying is that there are lots of records been set, but when you put them together, it's quite astounding. It's quite shocking. Mm -hmm. This is graph here shows you in terms of global surface temperatures what happened last year and all of the areas that are red are record red as such the record hot and you can see Russia, Europe, Canada, Ecuador, the Pacific really really hot there was an El Nino effect which made it even worse. Notice however in the North Atlantic it's blue around um, uh, Greenland and northeast Canada kind of affecting our weather that's cold so although people in Ireland might say <laughs> global warming where is it there's a bit of an effect there where it's not it's not hot everywhere there are extremes in all of the water temperatures in all of the, the atmospheric temperatures up to 10 kilometres. Uh, records have been set, new records have been set. In terms of droughts, one third of the Earth's land is suffering from drought and about 14% from severe or extreme drought. Everything you look at in terms of carbon emissions, they're talking about nearly 400 parts per million on average, which is a really, really scary level because 450 is the total when they say climate change will get out of, uh, out of control. So all of those things say... Um, uh, there's a problem in relation to when you look at, at the next graph which is the average levels of temperature you can see from the 1981 to 2000 is a line in the middle there going across if people can see it you can see going back to 1880 that generally slowly increasing temperatures but we have broken that line since the year 2000 and we're getting hotter and hotter and hotter 14 of the top 15 years in terms of temperature have been since the year 2000 and that graph shows it's only going in